Hello friends, this is Vinod Prabhu and I welcome you once again to our channel 7 Sense Aptitude Prep. If you are a subscriber, I welcome you back. If you are here for the first time, I hope you like what you see and we hope you find it useful. Today we are going to look at a very very basic concept in aptitude, a concept that requires very very uh, little effort to master but once you know the concepts and you practice well the sky is the limit accuracy and speed will be the outcome of watching all of these videos on this particular topic the topic is called as averages okay and this is the first video and we look at concepts in this video first concept what is average? It is a value that you get by adding all the numbers that you have and dividing it by the number of numbers. What do I mean by this? Let us say you have rupees. You have 10. Just give me a minute. Let us say you have rupees. You have 10 and your friend has 20. Someone else has 30 and the other person has 40. How many people are there? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So, total is 4. Now, what is the average amount that you have? How do you find that out? You add the total amount. You add 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 and divide it by the total number of people. You do it by 4. So, you get 100 by 4. You get this as 25. That is the average amount that each one has. It means that if you have 10, other your friend has 20, someone else has 30, and another one has 40, the total is 100, which you would have gotten if each one of you had 25. So if each one of you had 25, the total would still have been 100. The total is 100 here, the total is 100 here. That is what average means. You add the amounts and divide it by the number of amounts number of amounts so this can be anything this could be rupees this could be kgs this could be pounds this could be age anything you add and then divide it by the number of that amount now whenever you get an average irrespective of how many numbers are there irrespective of whether they are close to one another or far away in terms of the number system your average can't be lower than the lowest number. It can't be higher than the highest number. Okay. You take any example. It has to lie somewhere in between. If it is lower than the lowest number or higher than the highest number, the calculations are definitely wrong. Okay. Let's look at this in very uh, quick manner. 20, 30, 40, 50. How do you find the average? You add where 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50. And then divide it by how much? Divide it by 4. So here you get 140. 140 by 4 is 35. Answer for this is 35. Okay. Now, next one. 0, 50 and 100. You add, you add, and the numerator adding 0 does not matter. So 50 plus 100. In the denominator, do not write 2 because 0 is anyway 0. We add, we count only 50 and 100. No, you have to count it as 3. Okay, so the answer is 150 by 3. This would be 50. No. Now, we look at three types of numbers. Okay, consecutive numbers are numbers that come one after the other. Okay, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They are all consecutive numbers. Now, if you have to look at the averages of three types of numbers, okay, we look at two different scenarios, consecutive numbers, both are consecutive numbers. In these two, what is the difference? Here, you will find that there are seven numbers, okay, x2, x plus 6. Here, you will find that there are eight numbers, x2, x plus 7. So, there are eight numbers. How do you find out the average? If you take x as 50, I will calculate for the first and then give the shortcut and then you can calculate for the rest okay if in this x is 50 what are the numbers 50 51 52 53 54 55 and 56 right if i have to add all that if i have to add all that 
okay divide it by 7 what am i going to get so i am going to get an add in the numerator i'm going to get uh, 350 plus 371 by 7 okay which is 53 so that is the standard way of doing it but what is the shortcut if you have numbers that are consecutive okay whether they are consecutive numbers whether they are consecutive even numbers whether they are consecutive odd numbers does not matter if you have numbers that are consecutive and the number of numbers is seven is odd rather here it is seven it is applicable for any odd uh, set okay here the number of numbers is seven your average will be the middle number here the middle number is this so if you take x as 50 the middle number is 50 plus 3 which is 53 which is the answer that we've got i repeat if the numbers are consecutive whether they are consecutive numbers consecutive even numbers consecutive odd numbers if the number of numbers is odd this one not this this does not have to be even or odd this can be anything okay don't worry about this if the number of numbers is odd here we have seven the average is the middle number here you have x plus 3 which is the middle number and you get the same value when you add and see if you have consecutive numbers but the number of numbers is even here you have 8 okay you don't have a middle number here that is the clue right you don't have a middle number how do you find the average you find the average by taking the average of these two numbers okay what is the average of these two numbers x plus 3 and x plus 4 the average is x plus 3.5 okay let us see if we get x plus 3.5 x plus 3 plus x plus 4 by 2 okay we get it as 2x plus 7 by 2 which is equal to x plus 3.5 so here if x is 50 your average will be 53.5 i leave it up to you to add and verify that this is indeed correct you take the average of the middle two numbers Similarly, if they are consecutive even numbers, does it matter? No, you just see the number of numbers. You have number of numbers here is odd, which is 5. And so your average will be the middle number, which will be 50 plus 4, 54. You add, you make it as 50, 52, 54, 56, 58. You add all of those and divide by 5, you will get the same answer. I am just looking at the shortcut. It is the middle number. Consecutive even numbers when the number of numbers is what is it here? It is 6, which is even. So, if that is the case, it is the average of these two numbers. Average of these two numbers is x plus 4 and x plus 6 by 2 is x plus 5. So, your answer here will be 55. Similarly, consecutive odd numbers does not matter. Here, the number of numbers is 5. So, your Average is 5 plus 4. If it is 101, 5 plus 4 makes it 105. That is the average of 101, 103, 105, 107, 109. And then if it is consecutive, odd numbers, but the number of numbers is even. Here we have 6. And so it is y plus 4 and y plus 6 by 2, y plus 5. So our average would be 106. Okay. Remember the numbers are consecutive whether they are even odd or just consecutive numbers the average is the middle number when the number of numbers is odd and the average is the average of the middle two numbers when the number of numbers is even let us look at these three average of the first n natural numbers would be one two three until n what is the shortcut there the shortcut there is n plus 1 by 2 okay which means 1 to n let's take n as something okay n as something would be 1 to 5 1 1 2 3 4 5 okay what is the average uh, here 7 15 by 5 which is 3 n is 5 average if you substitute in the formula 5 plus 1 by 2 which is also 3 so let us take n as 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 becomes 21 by 6 is equal to 3.5 if you take n as 6 in this formula 
you get 6 plus 1 by 2. So you got a 7.5. This is the shortcut average of the first n natural numbers is n plus 1 whole upon 2. Average of the first n odd numbers. Average of the first n odd numbers is surprisingly n only. Let us take the first n odd numbers. Let us take the first 7 odd numbers for example. We get first 7 odd numbers as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Okay, now what is the average if you have consecutive, remember consecutive odd, consecutive odd 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, which is also the first n odd numbers, right? First 7 odd numbers. If they are, con if they are consecutive numbers and the number of numbers is odd, what did we discuss was the average? The average was the middle number. This is 7, first 7 odd numbers, okay? one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers, they are odd, average is the middle number, which is 7, hence we write that as 7. Average of the first n even numbers, okay, average of the first n even numbers, if you have first n even numbers, which is 2, 4, 6, let us say, we take the same thing, 7 numbers, okay, 8, 10, 12, 14. First in there are even numbers, but n can be anything. Okay, n can be anything. So we get two, four, six, eight, ten. According to our value, our shortcut, it has to be the middle number, which is eight. So if first n even numbers, the average is n plus one. Let us look at this. If it is not just till fourteen, but if it is still sixteen, what should be our answer? The, our answer should be the so, which means eight even numbers right 8 even numbers are there from 2 to 16 what is the average average according to the concept which you discussed in the previous slide is the average of the middle two numbers okay for a consecutive even or consecutive odd when the number of numbers is even here it is even so our average will be the average of 8 and 10 which is 9 okay 9 we get it through one shortcut the other shortcut is average of the first and even numbers is here it is n is equal to 8 because there are 8 even numbers the average of that is 8 plus 1 which is 9 we get that here okay so we have looked at what is an average we've looked at uh, taking averages of a few numbers we've looked at averages of consecutive numbers is the middle number when the number of numbers is odd and it is the average of the middle two numbers when the number of numbers is even, whether the numbers are consecutive, whether the numbers are consecutive odd, or whether the numbers are consecutive even. We have also seen the average has to lie between the least number and the greatest number. And we looked at in this slide three more shortcuts. Average of the first n numbers is n plus 1 by 2. Average of the first n odd numbers is n. Average of the first n even numbers is n plus 1 okay so if you like this i would uh, request you to like the video uh, show some appreciation in the comments if you have some doubts you could enter that in the comments as well share it with your friends so that people uh, can also benefit uh, subscribe and click on the bell icon and uh, keep watching our videos okay share it with your near and dear ones if you need more uh, practice tests company specific tests with solutions, with detailed explanations, please visit our website, sevensinstalent.com. Okay, you can sign up and log in and practice there. See you soon for the remaining videos on aptitude. Uh, you can watch all those videos in this playlist and uh, we hope uh, that uh, you enjoy and uh, become much, much better at aptitude and the fear of aptitude goes away. Thank you.